any leader or any political leader that says he's going to fight corruption, create jobs, and make Nigeria peaceful and secure, is the one that thinks about the interests of young people. That is what the APC stands for. That is what General Muhammad Buhari stands for. And that is why I am here appealing to you to pass this message about General Buhari and make it clear that his age, his experience, the fact that he has held every significant public service job in Nigeria since he has been governor, minister, and head of state, means he has done it all. You will not have a learner on the job. You will not have a learner that will behave like a drunken driver. We have some drunken drivers running parts of this country. And it's time to move away from that. Now, the second issue that they used to scare you is to say that General Muhammad Buhari will Islamize Nigeria. And I always respond by saying, oh, does that mean that Professor Simbajo will also Christianize Nigeria? That line is the most pathetic. It's pathetic because when you ask them, how do you, how do you Islamize Nigeria? No one can explain how Nigeria can be Islamized or Christianized. How do you do it? If General Muhammad Buhari has any intentions to Islamize anyone, how come he sent Islamize Rotimi Amechi, a devout Roman Catholic, to be a Muslim? How do you Islamize people? How do you Islamize a nation? How can responsible people speak like that? You know why the PDP and the Jonathanians speak like that? Because they cannot go into this election on their record because they have no record. And the record they have, they cannot talk about. What is their record? I will tell you. In 2007, when we left office, we left $43 billion as foreign reserves. We also left $27 billion in the excess food account. The exchange rate was 119 uh, naira to the dollar. That's what we left for passenger administration in 2007. Go and check. Where is that today? We had got all our uh, foreign debt virtually written off. Our total debt as a country was $26 billion. $3 billion external debt, $23 billion domestic debt. Today, what are the numbers? There is less than a billion dollars in the excess food account. There is less than $30 billion as foreign reserves. Our debt has moved from 26 billion to nearly 50 billion. This is their record. The exchange rate has moved from 120 to the dollar to 240 to the dollar. That is Jonathan's record. Jobs have been destroyed. Livelihoods have been destroyed. Over a million people have been displaced because of incompetent and corrupt security mismanagement. Meanwhile, during this period, oil prices have been at their all-time high. Trillions have been budgeted for security, but the only thing you see are mansions in Abuja owned by ministers of defense and generals. We know, those, we know these houses, we know the owners. This is the record of the Jonathan administration in the last six years. That's why they don't want to talk about it. So what do they talk about? They move from church to church preaching religious division. They move from town to town preaching ethnic division. They have no record to run on. They take photographs of private estates and claim that the government built the estate. <laughs> they take photographs of railway uh, uh, bullet trains from Port Harcourt and claim that it's federal government uh, uh, train system. They lie for a living. Do 
not believe anything they say. Even when they say, good morning, check, it is probably evil. One minute more. Sorry. So do not be deceived. I am here before you as a father of young people like you because I have many children. We don't count our children. We, we count blessings. That I care about your future. We all care about your future because we have children too. And we want you to stand up and vote for change. On that day, you get your BBCs. Don't be intimidated by anyone in uniform. Remember, remember a few weeks ago, we needed to get the help of Chad and Niger to chase Boko Haram. So don't let them scare you. They should not scare you. Go out with your permanent voters card and vote for the party and the candidates that will secure your future. That party is the ABC. That party is the APC. Those candidates are the candidates of the APC that emerged through transparent primaries, not criminal imposition. The APC is different. We are different. We represent integrity. General Buhari represents that. We represent performance. First of all, there embodies performance. Standing for what is right. Governor Amechi represents that. We, we represent honor. Governor Faimi is the only politician in Nigeria's history that congratulated his opponent, even when he knew he was rich. That is the APC. Compare us with the other criminal enterprise. Thank you very much. <laughs>